Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 16 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I am going to be covering arrays. And arrays are probably one of the most important things in programming. Um, they're very often used, and we're going to be using them for a lot of the time from here on out. Um, they'll become, yeah, they'll basically become uh, very, very important. And that's why I'm going to teach them now. So, um, Basically what an array is, it's a list of um, a lot of variables, or it's just um, like if we want to make 50, let's say we want to make 50 integer variables, we have to say int minum1, minum2, minum3, minum4, minum5, we have to keep going until we get to, you know, however many we want. But that's, that's a lot of stuff to write for just to make 50 integer variables. And sometimes we want to store information like that, we don't you know, not every variable is just one thing. Sometimes we want to store a lot of the same kind of information. But, but anyway, um, to create 50 or 60 or however many um, integers of the same kind of thing, we have arrays to do that for us. And that way we can declare it all in just one line of code. So we start out like we normally do. We just say int because we're going to make an integer array, and we can make integers, doubles, characters, and we'll get into different types later. But um, for now, we're just going to start with an integer array, and we're going to call this my list. And my list is going to have 50 different integers. So we want to declare 50 integers in this list. So we're going to make a square bracket, which is right next to the curly brace key, and or is the curly brace key, whatever. And um, so if we want to have 50 different integers, uh, this is known as 50 elements, and uh, so yeah, we just put in 50 into the square braces, and there you go, you just made 50 different integers um, all of my list. Um, that's just the name of the variable. And let's, if we wanted to assign an integer to one of these 50 elements, all we'd have to do is say my list 30 gets, um, you know, a number, on, and if we want to uh, give my list 40 a number, we just say my my list 40 gets, you know, 10 or something. And that's how it works. It's really not too complicated. But um, basically, the, the hardest part is uh, the next part here. And uh, the concept of arrays where people get confused is that m the array always starts at the zeroth element, where your starting point is, m it would be my list and then your first element is not my list one and that's where some people get confused they think oh, okay 50 elements my list one to my list my list 50 but there's actually it doesn't work that way we still have 50 elements but it starts at my list zero and that's actually the first element that we start with so it goes to my list zero that's your first integer that you made and it goes all the way to my list 49 and that's still 50 elements when you think about it because one less, you know, you're adding a zero with element, so that would be 50 elements total. So um, it goes from zero to 49. So um, basically, we have my list zero, that's our first element, and our last element, this isn't actually real code, but my list, the last element of this would be 49. So we, this would be our first element, and our last element would be my list 49. But as you can see, it's still 50. 50 different elements, okay? So we have 50 integers within this, but all you have to remember is that the first element is zero, it's not one. And there is no my list 50, okay? This this isn't actually declaring a 50th element, or it is, it's declaring 50 elements, but it's not declaring my list and then 50. It's all this declaration right here is saying is that we're gonna make 50 elements. It's not actually making a my list 50. Okay, so it starts at, it starts at zero and it goes to one less than what you call it basically. Okay, so that's pretty much how the arrays work. So if we wanted to um, add a number or give this initialize it with a number, all we have to do is say my list zero gets four. And then if you wanted to print this out, it works the exact same way as before. Just do percent d and we just throw my list and we throw the zeroth element in there. And when we run this, you'll see that we get value of four. Because that's because we assign my list zero the value of four. So 
What if we want to assign all these elements, or sorry, initialize all these elements, because that seems like it would take a long time, would it not? Well, there's actually a way that we can do this quite simply, and we can use just a while loop. So, um, or, or a for loop for that matter, it doesn't really matter. But um, this is, I'm just going to show you a way that you can get um, every element in your list initialized. So here, we're going to say int and i just to um, have our incrementer variable. And we're going to make a while loop. And we're just going to say as i is less than, and since we have 50 elements right here, we're going to say as long as it's less than 50. And that means the element will start, sorry, I'm going to start it at 0 here. So i will start at 0, and it will make its way up to the 49th element. But since it's not less than or equal to 50, 49 will be the last value that's true. Because as soon as i is 50, it will not be true anymore. So for our statements, all we have to say is um, my list, and in our square bracket, we can just put the value of i in there. And what that means basically is since i has a value of 0 and it runs the while loop, i 0 is less than 50, yep, so my list, and it puts that value of 0 in there. So it's my list and it's the zeroth, el or the zeroth element of my list. So the, it throws that value of i into the square brackets. And it's kind of the smart thing about arrays. Um, you can kind of just, the while loops are really useful in that case. And so we just increment our, um, our i here. And basically, we can assign whatever value. We can assign it a 7, OK, for that, just for an example. So basically, what this is doing is i starts out at a value of 0. 0 is less than 50, yep, and then it puts the value of i into my list, so 0, the 0th element is now getting a value of 7, and then it increments the i, and then the next thing will go to my list, and it'll go to my list 1, and my list 1 will get a value of 7. And basically, we're initializing 50 different values just in this one while loop. And then, of course, when it gets to 49, it's the last time, it's not going to get to a 50, so it's going to be i equal to 49, my list 49 gets a value of 7. And so that's how to initialize all of your array elements. So now, if we did a printf on this, we could just say percent %d for an integer, and we could put any my list element in there, and you'd see that um, we would get all the same value. So let's get, let's throw my list, I don't know, 34 in there. Throw my list 34, and we'll obviously get a, um, a value of 7 when we run this. So go to our console, build and run, and as you can see, we get a 7. So that's basically, it's a start to arrays. Um, this is basically just showing you how to, how arrays really work. They go from 0 to 1 less than the element that you call it. So in this case, 0 to 49. And so those are your 50 elements in there. And then this just shows you that how you can initialize all of, all of your elements in uh, just a loop. So that's um, my introduction to arrays, and we'll be using arrays much, much more in the near future. Um, they will become uh, much more useful when we do stuff like strings or uh, character arrays, as they're known as in C, and that basically allows us to keep sentences and or big, you know, sentences basically in uh, C. And Basically, it'll get uh, pretty technical from there on out, but um, that's this is basically just the introduction to how arrays work. And uh, to believe believe it or not, that's uh, sometimes the hardest thing for people is just to understand uh, the basics of arrays. That it starts at a zeroth element, and then it works to one less than the um, number that you call it. So it'd be minus forty nine for the t the last element. So that's how arrays work, and um, just some few updates here. Uh, the test for um, lessons 14 and below is um, going to be linked in this video. And if you have any questions regarding the arrays so far on what I've taught you in this lesson, uh, please leave a comment below or message me. And yeah, so stay tuned for uh, coming tutorials. All right, see ya.